What's up, everybody? This is Travis from Candid at the Movies, and today I will be bringing you a brand new hidden gem. And it was something that one of our subscribers and a frequent collaborator of ours, Maxton, he provided this one as a hidden gem for us this week, and it is 2004's neo-noir crime drama film known as Collateral. Now, if you've heard of Collateral or seen Collateral, you know that it stars Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx, Jada Pinkett Smith, Mark Ruffalo, Peter Berg, Javier Bardem, and a whole cast of other people. And it is directed by the great Michael Mann, and honestly, this film is something that made people respect Jamie Foxx a little bit more, and it made a lot of people actually love Tom Cruise even more. You might find it weird to hear this, but this is actually, to me, one of Tom Cruise's best films that nobody talks about. Let alone, it's one of his few films that he's been a villain in, and I feel like this is the best one that he was in as a villain. If you don't know about this story, it follows Jamie Foxx's character known as Max, who is a LA cab driver who's just going around doing his thing, not really worrying about life, just moving on not seeing his mom like he should even though she's in the hospital and then he picks up Tom Cruise's character known as Vincent and then out of nowhere Vincent's character just is like I need you to carry me to these couple of stops and I'll pay you this large amount of money and then Tom Cruise starts killing people and yeah it just becomes a wild cat chase where everyone's trying to figure out who's this person that's doing these kills who's his accomplice, and all in all, while this is going on, Vincent is supposedly helping Jamie Foxx's life for the better. <laughs> it's wild, it's nuts, it'll leave you really claustrophobic, especially when you're in the cab with them because so much is going on. It's really dialogue heavy, but when action happens, it happens. It's pretty amazing action, and it's like early, I'd say, if you like John Wick stuff, this is like, the earliest versions you're gonna get that Tom Cruise goes a wall on all of his action, and it's amazing seeing Jamie Foxx even impersonate Vincent's character in one scene of the movie will take you back, and you'll just be like, "Oh man, this guy's really good." Even though all of us before then only knew him for just being a comedic guy, just being Wanda, you know. That's all you expected out of Jamie Foxx, but this movie really showed his acting chops, chops off even more than the Ali film did. After this, you know, Ray did come about, and Ray was a great film, but this was the first movie that everybody was just like, hey, this Jamie Foxx kid is really good, and I love this film for that. The action is really good, stakes are in this film, and you're worried for everybody that is connected to Jamie Foxx when things are going down. Even when it gets to the, like the climactic scenes, you're just over here just like, how are they going to get out of this? How are they going to stop this guy, Vincent? Because he's not playing. Even if he gets shot, he's still going. People are getting killed that you don't expect to get killed in this movie. And it's so, so good of a action thriller. I highly recommend this film if you haven't watched it. If you've seen this movie, comment below. Let us know your favorite parts. And what I like more than anything that this film did that really blew my mind the more and more I kept thinking about it over the years. This was a small, maybe semi spinoff to The Transporter. If you do watch the beginning of the movie, it was confirmed that Jason Statham's character in this movie was The Transporter. <laughs> and that'll blow your mind even more, especially once you know how those Transformer series go. Not Transformer, trans Transporter. My bad. Yeah, smack me for that one, y'all. <laughs> but I can honestly say if you have not seen Collateral, please check it out. It's worth it. It's on a lot of streaming services. I'll put the link in below where you can watch Collateral right now. But hey, comment below. Let us know what you thought about Collateral and if it stands the test of time for you. But this is Travis Moyer. This is Candy at the Movies. We'll catch y'all later.